The James Webb Space Telescope has once again unveiled a breathtaking cosmic event, this time turning its remarkable vision toward a violent scene unfolding in the distant reaches of our solar system. A massive impact has occurred on Neptune, where an enormous object has slammed into the planet, captured in stunning infrared detail. The moment stands as one of the most striking records of planetary interaction ever observed. This isn't a fuzzy flare or uncertain signal. Webb has documented clear atmospheric disturbance in Neptune's upper layers. Along with energy pulses and particle waves radiating from the point of contact, clear evidence of a recent forceful collision before diving deeper. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay updated with the latest discoveries. While the outer planets are no strangers to cosmic impacts, witnessing such events on Neptune is exceptionally rare. Lying over 4 billion kilometers from Earth, Neptune's distant location and dim reflection make it one of the hardest targets for traditional telescopes. However, with the James Webb Space Telescope stationed at the L2 Lagrange point, equipped with its expansive segmented mirror and cutting-edge infrared capabilities, the observational landscape has changed. Webb peers through Neptune's methane-heavy cloud cover, uncovering dynamic activity hidden from ground-based or even orbital observatories like Hubble. This advanced capability enabled it to identify signs of atmospheric disruption, a rapidly expanding cloud system at mid-latitudes. Accompanied by a sharp increase in heat emissions from the area of impact, these observations point to a powerful kinetic event, one that disrupted Neptune's turbulent climate systems in just hours. The identity of the impacting object remains under investigation. However, Webb's sharp imagery and thermal readings suggest it was a large mass, potentially a rogue asteroid, a stray Kuiper Belt object, or perhaps even a small icy moon knocked out of orbit by Neptune's chaotic gravitational field. Whatever it was, the intruder must have been traveling at incredible speed to penetrate Neptune's dense atmospheric layers and create such widespread upheaval. The magnitude of the thermal surge indicates the impact released energy comparable to thousands of nuclear explosions as it entered the planet's atmosphere, tearing through its methane-rich skies and producing shockwaves that Webb detected even hours later. This event marks a major breakthrough in understanding collisions involving the outer planets. Unlike Jupiter, which famously endured the impact of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 in 1994 and has been regularly observed since. Neptune has rarely revealed such dramatic changes, due to its distance and lack of a solid surface. It's difficult to track lasting atmospheric shifts, but Webb's real-time surveillance has made it possible to study an impact event as it happens. This data offers a rare chance to investigate Neptune's complex weather dynamics and explore how such a massive planet processes, mitigates, and eventually stabilizes after an energetic intrusion. Infrared observations have uncovered the emergence of immense vortex systems, appearing like amplified versions of Earth's hurricanes, swirling near the site of the collision. These massive storms stretch across thousands of kilometers, redistributing heat and cloud material from the equatorial region toward the poles. Some researchers speculate that these temporary atmospheric disturbances might evolve into longer-lasting structures akin to the mysterious great dark spot seen by Voyager 2 back in 1989, a transient storm that puzzled astronomers. Now, thanks to Webb's precise monitoring, scientists can study these developing phenomena in depth, watching as they interact with Neptune's fast-moving jet streams and either dissipate or merge into more persistent weather systems. The implications of this observation extend far beyond Neptune itself. Being able to observe a planetary impact in real time gives scientists an opportunity to put long-standing theories about planetary development and impact frequency to the test. The outer planets exist in an environment teeming with icy debris, rocks, and small celestial bodies, a kind of cosmic shooting gallery. Events like this serve as a reminder that even the most distant regions of our solar system are subject to gravitational chaos and dramatic events. Given its mass and position, Neptune often acts as a gravitational shield, diverting or capturing objects that could otherwise head inward. But this latest collision confirms that Neptune isn't just a deflector, it can be a target. Two, the sheer size of the impactor suggests there could be many more large, undetected objects drifting within the Kuiper belt than previously estimated. 
This realization carries significant consequences for planetary defense efforts closer to Earth. If an object sizable enough to strike Neptune so dramatically exists, then similarly sized bodies could also pose a risk to other planets. Earth included, Webb's detection of the lingering heat trail from the impact are long after the event offers promise for improving future early warning systems. If such thermal and atmospheric disruptions can be identified from billions of kilometers away, it suggests we could become far better at detecting potential threats well before they approach the inner solar system. Neptune's response to the impact has also unveiled unexpected levels of resilience and activity within its weather systems. Webb's data showed rapid transformations in cloud formations, with high-altitude methane clouds vanishing and then reappearing in unfamiliar configurations compared to previous observations. Some researchers propose that the energy released during the collision may have energized Neptune's already volatile weather. Potentially modifying wind speeds and altering the structure of its jet streams for weeks or months to come. With Webb's continued monitoring, scientists now have a rare opportunity to observe these atmospheric adjustments and possibly link them to lasting changes. Even Neptune's magnetic field appears to have been momentarily affected. While the planet already possesses one of the most unusual magnetic fields in the solar system, being both tilted and offset, Webb's instruments recorded subtle shifts in auroral patterns over the poles. These anomalies could indicate that the impact, or the charged particles generated by it, temporarily disrupted the balance between Neptune's magnetic field and the solar wind. Should this be confirmed, it would be the first time an impact has been directly linked to disturbances in a gas giant's magnetosphere. It's a potentially groundbreaking finding that could reshape our understanding of how planetary magnetic fields respond to external forces. One particularly engaging outcome of this event is how it has reignited scientific interest in Neptune as a primary research target. Long viewed as distant, enigmatic, and underexplored, Neptune has now emerged as a dynamic and evolving world. Thanks to Webb's detailed and vivid observations, the planet has been transformed from a distant icy blur to a vibrant system filled with motion, weather, and cosmic interactions. There's renewed focus on Neptune's role within the solar system's structure. Scientists have long theorized that Neptune's early migration had a profound effect on the orbital paths of Kuiper Belt objects and even helped mold the architecture of the other gas giants. Now. Witnessing a present-day collision provides real-world evidence of how Neptune continues to engage with its environment. The newly gathered data may also offer critical clues about how mass is distributed across the outer regions of our solar system and could inform future searches for still undiscovered celestial bodies that lie beyond Neptune's orbit. Webb's success in capturing this collision also highlights the extraordinary advancements in human observation technology. Prior to Webb, an event of this nature might have gone entirely unnoticed, hidden in the dark vastness of space. But with its cutting-edge infrared capabilities and precision tracking, we are now able not only to witness the aftermath of such cosmic events, but potentially detect their origins, tracking rogue objects as they journey across the solar system before they make impact. We are entering an era of expanded discovery and increased vigilance, one that is reshaping our concept of what's possible to observe. As more data from the impact site is reviewed, scientists are beginning to piece together the trajectory and origin of the colliding body. Early orbital estimates suggest it may have originated in the scattered disk, a region even farther out than the Kuiper Belt, where icy bodies follow highly tilted and elongated paths. If verified, this would reinforce the idea of Neptune acting as a gravitational gatekeeper, occasionally pulling an ancient, wandering objects from the solar system's remote outskirts. Each impact, therefore, becomes more than just a moment of destruction. It becomes a preserved clue from the solar system's tumultuous past. One of the more scientifically valuable outcomes involves the elemental signatures produced by the impact. Web spectrometers detected abrupt spikes in molecules like hydrogen cyanide, ethane, and acetylene, compounds that form under extreme pressure and temperature conditions. These chemicals, briefly glowing in the infrared spectrum, suggest the impactor either carried exotic ices from the solar system's outer edge or triggered reactions deep within Neptune's atmosphere. Either scenario offers planetary scientists and astrochemists a rare opportunity to study reactions that are nearly impossible to replicate on Earth. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, will you? Think about Neptune's dramatic collision? What could it mean for our understanding of the solar system? We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.